Hey everyone and welcome to the first video in the new series of how to create AR applications with Unity 3D. Now if you're already familiar with my channel you probably already know that uh, most of my videos so far have been in topics using the Unreal Engine. So this one's going to be slightly different as we will be focusing just on Unity for the applications that I'll be showing how to make. If you haven't come across my channel before and this is the first time, then I do make a lot of other content uh, for game design in general. Like I mentioned, most of that at the moment has been inside of the Unreal Engine. Some of it's been on how to use Blender for both Unity and the Unreal Engine. So make sure you check out the other content available. If you enjoy it, then do subscribe to get updated with the weekly game dev content that I make. I also do some let's create game mechanic type things as well. So you get one of those a month as well as the weekly content. So the reason I'm making this playlist though, and this is just going to be an introduction on the software you're going to need, the approaches we'll take, uh, and everything you're going to need to get set up to get started making some AI applications in the next video so do stick around so you know what we'll be covering and what you'll need to do so but the reason that I'm making this playlist is that AR is something that I worked on quite a lot several years ago I really enjoyed it and it's something I want to get back into and try and share the interest and get more people into it as well because I think AR has a really great potential for some really interesting applications so I was actually using this inside of Unity years back when things like the HoloLens were still in early development I was actually one of the first Developers when they started rolling out into UK companies to get my hands on the HoloLens and build some simple applications to test with that uh, using things like Project Tango as well uh, had some really really cool implementation on how to get really accurate scaling measurements and things so there's been some really interesting tech and tests done with AR and I really want to try and get that going again and it seems to be in a position now where you can do a lot of cool stuff with it. So using that experience that I've had in the past with a lot of different companies, I want to try and share some of that with you guys uh, and that's what we're doing in this playlist. So what I wanted to mention first of all is that anybody should be able to follow along with this. I will only be using Android devices purely because I don't work with Apple devices and I don't have any Apple devices to test on. A lot of what we'll be doing though because we're using unity it will be completely cross-platform so as long as you know how to set up and develop for apple devices you can follow along because we'll be using that kind of develop once deploy anywhere kind of mentality that you get with unity and the way that we'll be doing this is uh, as you can see here i have a few links open so these are going to be the things that you'll need to download if any to get started and i'll kind of go through the process we'll take throughout the playlist so to begin with Unity has a few different options available for working with augmented reality. The first of which would be either using the AR Core or AR Kit, which are going to be the platform specific SDKs, which will have some of their own kind of unique functionality. Now I'm going to avoid that and we're going to move straight on to the AR Foundation. Now this is great because it has a mix of both of the kits kind of rolled into one. Uh, you may lose some of the Android specific or Apple specific features. Um, and sometimes even though they say that in the foundation, some features aren't available, after testing I've actually found some are like the face tracking, which is meant to be an Apple only thing, does work on the Android devices too. So that's the sort of thing that we'll be going through. And this is what I mean when I say that, although I won't be showing how to specifically deploy to the Apple platform, because we'll be using the foundation package, we should be able to just build this and deploy anywhere. Now, the other thing is that I won't be showing how to set up, install the Android uh, management suite again just because that goes out of date so quickly by the time that I update this because you've got the Unity and the Android dates both going side by side by the time I upload a video of anything to do with mobile topics uh, it just seems to be out of date before I've even pressed release so what I would do is I'm going to provide all of these links in the description below so if you need any of these just check down there so if you're using Android just head on over to this page it will give you a step-by-step -step of the most up-to-date requirements to get the Android SDK and NDK tools installed and that will get you good to go ready for deploying this and testing on the devices. Now likewise the other thing I wanted to mention is when it comes to installing Unity it says here that the AR foundation is available for versions of 2018.1 and later however when you go to the official download page it does say that you need version 2019 or higher. So just to be safe, I'm going to download 2019 and be using that for all of the tutorials going forward, just so that you know the software package that I'm using. And if you can, I would recommend doing that as well. It may work in 2018, but there may be some discrepancies on what I'll be doing to what you'll have available as well. 
but because 2019 is in a stable build anyway and has all of the features ready, I'm just going to go with that to make sure that we have the most up-to-date and the most options available to us. So this is where we're going to start off, is we will go through as many of the features as I think will be interesting or useful in the AR Foundation. So this will be things like general space tracking, like you can see in the demo here, image tracking, object tracking, although I found in the Foundation package built into Unity, it's still a little bit rudimentary, so we may skip that one because it's just not very good, and a few other interesting things as well like how to set up face tracking and things like that and we're going to do this from a empty project to a complete implementation so that's one thing i find really useful is obviously you have a lot of the demonstration packs but for people completely new to ar it can be very confusing on uh, what's happening what's responsible for what so we're going to create a nice clean fresh project and by the end of this you'll understand why you're implementing things in the way that you are to get the results that you need now once we've done that that would have covered the very basics of ar and getting an ar application up and running and built onto your device and if there's enough interest what i want to do afterwards is show you how to use the vuforia engine so this is going back to what i was doing years ago um, on some of my contract work and, and some of the time that i spent in full-time employment i made heavy use of the vuforia engine now it's not completely free if you're going to ship this so do check the pricing tab again the links for this will be in the description but it is free to set up an account and test and vuforia even four or five years ago was probably further ahead than where unity ar foundation is at the moment so it has some really really cool feature rich offerings to kind of play about with and investigate so uh, again this is going back four four to five years and i was creating things which had very very accurate object tracking so we were building like very rudimentary wooden kind of cityscapes and that could be used as an object anchor and then you could build models on top of that once you scanned it in ar we were able to kind of visualize a a city kind of being built upon it so it's really really cool stuff so it's going to be really interesting to look at Vuforia, see what it offers because again it's just been so ahead of everything else uh, most of the time when it comes to AR it's going to offer some really interesting looks at what you can do with augmented reality kind of in general and again this is cross-platform so I'm going to show you how to install this into Unity and then once it's in Unity you can kind of build it once and again if you are working with Apple devices you should be able to get it being deployed to those devices as well without any extra steps apart from the actual Xcode kind of Apple development steps you'd do anyway. Uh, but that is really it. So like I said, the only things you need to do to get ready for the next video where we'll start creating our Unity project is to make sure you have a recent version of Unity installed. 2018 may work like I've discussed, but I would recommend 2019 if you can. And then simply make sure that you have all of your Android and Apple SDK stuff ready to go for your standard kind of mobile deployments that you would have been doing in the past anyway. And as long as you have all of that set up, you should be ready to go for the next video. So I'll leave this video here for today. As always, if you do enjoy these videos or find them useful, please do leave a like and share the video around. It's greatly appreciated and really helps the channel. And like I mentioned, I do create and release at least one game dev related video tutorial per week on the channel so do have a look at those and subscribe to be kept up to date with any of the content coming from any of the playlist on the channel as ever though thanks for watching and I will see you all next time